and welcome back to just wing it hey we're just winging it we're still attempting to get a decent flight in the umx turbo timber only because it's just you know we're in that time period where it's kind of windy kind of eh. so uh, in any event hey thanks for watching thanks for tuning in and uh, thank you for subscribing to the mayhem um we're here at the barstow high school the historic old high schools old high school has been here since the 1920s we're on the athletic field it's barstow hill there's a uh, there's Barstow Hill, you see a little B up there on the top. And this is a new spot, okay? So yeah, we're at a classic old athletic field with the, the old stone bleachers and at the whole nine yards. And we have uh, the UMX Turbo Timber. We have it pretty much smack dab in the center of the field. So the winds are kind of uh, iffy, but hey, we're gonna give this a whirl anyway. So half flap, let's go. There we are, all right. She climbs up over the, over the hill. I've taken out some of the uh, some of the uh, uh, down elevator mix that I had because uh, I wasn't really sure I was liking it. So, in any event, all right, let's go ahead and uh, attempt to do some low and slow here, or at least get get a better idea what this plane is capable of. Okay, because uh, flying it in 20 mile an hour winds yesterday <laughs> just just gives you a bit of a of a different uh, look. So hey, she's doing really good. Uh, wow, all right, this is kind of what I was hoping for. Um, again, there's some some uh, strange winds going on. That's a half lap flyby. So uh, in any event, we're gonna keep her going here. Uh, I know I don't wanna go into the sun, but I'm gonna go into the sun anyways. Probably not the best thing for video, so I apologize. We're gonna, you know what, we're gonna slow things down just a skosh, bring in half flap. And uh, let's bring her around. I'm using a lot of rudder because one thing I've noticed with the, the long nose on it, it does fly a little bit different than the original UMX Timber. And uh, not much different, but I, I noticed for some weird reason, I like I need more rudder with this one, and I don't know why. So in any event, um, yeah, she's doing okay. Let's go ahead and clean up those flaps. Let's bring her up and do a, uh, into a hammerhead. There we go. All right, well, that's pretty familiar. Yeah, she does hammerheads pretty well. Um, as the wind's blowing her, it's almost a quartering wind on the field here, so we're gonna line her back up. And let's go ahead and go full throttle. Let's bring her up and on over here to a nice loop. That's a pretty big round loop. I'm digging it, I'm liking it. Uh, with these winds the way they are, I'm kind of I'm kind of hesitant to bring her down really, really low because uh, you just don't know what's gonna happen. Um, and you can see she's really being jostled about even with the AS3X. This is about half throttle. I'm not really going going uh, all out with her except for the loop of course and uh, we did the, uh, the, the, uh, the hammerhead. Really not a stall turn as I've explained in earlier videos. It's more or less because it's because it's under power. That was kind of like a wing over right there so that's pretty cool. Um, and we're just getting used to the plane and I'm, I'm kind of hoping for a nice you know somewhat calm day where I can actually uh, you know sort of I don't want to say put on a show with this thing but certainly fly it to its potential anyways so in any event here we're gonna go ahead and see how she handles some rough grass why well, I, I don't I'm kind of nervous with this rough grass so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna walk over here and we're gonna aim for some of the shorter grass right you know, right in front of me let's see if we can do this think we can do this I don't know let's find out so we've only got half flaps because we only really need half flaps. Oh, we overshot it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and bring her around. Let's try that again. With these winds the way they are, um, you know what? I might even I might even do a rudder aileron mix because this thing really kind of needs it. So let's see here. Whoa, we're getting some kind of windy here. All right. Well, hey, that worked. I'll take that. Okay, flaps up. Um, so there you go. So. We're, again, we're going to kind of keep these short, uh, somewhat short, and uh, uh, I don't want to say entertaining so much, but we're going to have the, the high school there in the background, and we're just trying to find some new and different places uh, to demonstrate the UMX Turbo Timber. Oh, by the way, we're trying to find a place where there isn't so much wind. <laughs> I just took a drive out to Newberry Springs, and it's blowing even harder out there, and that's 
18 miles that away. So in any event, hey, I hope you enjoy uh, what you're seeing of the UMX Turbo Timber. It is a great flying plane. It does fly a little differently than its older uh, sibling. I will tell you that. I don't know whether that's a result of the nose or what have you, but in any event, it does fly a little differently. Uh, but hey, it's a good difference, I think, and it's going to take a little getting used to. I'm probably going to put a little rudder uh, mix in with my aileron, so probably, may probably, you know, and I don't know how much. I'm going to figure it out, uh, probably a 10% a, a rudder mix at first. I'll fly it, see what I think. But in any event, hey, the winds are kind of picking up just a little bit here, and we have, again, scenic, historic Barstow High School behind us, and we're flying in the athletic field that has been here in Barso since the 1920s. So in any event, again, I hope you like what you're seeing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thank you for tuning in. Cheers, everybody. Blue skies, fair winds, happy landings, and all the best from Just Wing It. And we're here at the field with the new E-Flight UMX Turbo Timber. And this plane is two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Cheers, everyone.